posters I've announced. The Wandering Circus will arrive next week. Yes, you've been waiting all week to enter the big tent. And now you're here, taking in the special scent that you can't experience anywhere else. Looking around the auditorium, then choosing the best place to see the horses galloping, the acrobats flipping, and where you might even have the chance to be called into the ring by the clown. While you're eating your popcorn, you can hear someone talking to you. Good evening. Is this seat free? Oh, that sound, like an icy breeze. Your physics teacher is going to sit down next to you right now. Is this seat free? She asks again. And you finally say, yes. Great. She's delighted. Then I'll reveal the secrets of the show. You know, all of life is physics. And the show begins with the first act. But you're not just watching a line of graceful horses galloping, but also material points moving in the same angular velocity. At the end of the elephant act, the artist is captured by his elephant. Its trunk is twisted around the boy's leg so it can lift him up easily. Elephants bear loads similarly when they carry logs and stools in the circus. The magnitude of the frictional forces depends on the forces of compression. The more tightly the elephant contracts its trunk muscles, the greater the compressional force on the trunk, and thus increasing the frictional force. For example, Newton's first law of inertia, which wasn't crystal clear for the last test, has finally been illuminated for you. Teacher, please, as you say goodbye. This persistent observation was exhausting. So, can I get a five in physics? <laughs>